Hey everybody, welcome back to Heavy Rain. Uh, I don't know what we're doing, but I would say that that is a butterfly. Butterfly. Oh, we're getting tests done because of our blackouts. I would say there's definitely... Ooh, that could be a fox or a wolf. I'm gonna say wolf. A wolf's head. Uh, I see crab more than I see anything else. A crab. Blood, death, or shadow? I see those, like, the scythes, so maybe death? Death. Death. I'm assuming that we're here because of the blackouts. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no oh, okay, physical damage good. from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. I can't, but I probably will. How is Sean? He's distant. He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I don't know what to feel. <laughs> I do. F I think dead inside is probably the right answer. I stopped answer. living at the same time Jason did. Yeah. When that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? <laughs> I'm gonna tell him about the blackouts. Like that's why we're here. I sometimes have these. Blackouts? Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. D do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. I did not know we were in a coma for That's six months. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Okay, so this is a regular appointment that we're having. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Four ten. I'm um, these this inches thing must be. I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's see if we can lighten the mood here. Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Are you okay? Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. You can tell me. Do you want to eat something? How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's going to send me home the next time it happens. I'm Why were you late? Was it our fault? Oh, it's our fault. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? What am I going to do to cheer him up? Maybe we can use the, uh, yeah, let's get on here. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! 
Okay. I mean, he's responsive, at least, because it could be a hell of a lot worse. Okay, you take that side, I'll take this side. Come on, Dad, make me fly! <laughs> I don't know if you want that. There's a lot of these really touching moments. It's getting quicker. He's catching air. I think we need these moments to really, like, rebond. He seems to be having fun. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen that smile. I'll find something else to do with him. Here, let's go over here. What other activities do we have? We've got monkey bars. Is that your jam? Oh. How about over here? What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! He's down. He's a yes man. I like that. He's probably gonna be sick. Go on, Dad. As fast as you can. If he's not, we will be. Faster! Faster! I'm going as fast as I can. We're cruising! There we go. We can't even keep up. Kids love that stuff. Like, I can't handle spinning around like that. Not a huge fan. Whoa! <laughs> My head is spinning. Good training for astronauts, though. <laughs> I'll find something else to do with him. We can maybe rock the swings. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. He's going to be sick. I think that guy back there might be selling something to eat. Careful, might flip him right around. Still be tired. Sleep like a newborn cool. baby giraffe. He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. It's getting dark. It might start to rain soon. Well, maybe that's the inches is measuring is like the amount of rain, possibly. I'd like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. Uh, where'd he go? Back to the bench? Yeah. Hey, I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. What? Who hates strawberry? What the hell is wrong? Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. Oh, he's a good kid. <laughs> he's... It's like, 
She's a really good kid. Should have known he doesn't like strawberry. Don't even know my own son anymore. How would I know that? I'll find something else to do with him. Looks like we could just leave, but maybe we can get him something that he actually likes. Nope. What about this thing? Actually, I probably shouldn't leave him here, like... Is this a bad thing? Is this a bad parent thing to do? Probably. The other parents are probably judging me. Alright, well... I don't think there's much else to do... Other than... Maybe recycle this trash or something, but... Let's see if he wants to leave. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes so I wish I, everything buddy. could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. He seems to be leading the way. I don't know where we're going. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Yeah, big time. He's sure. a cool. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. I'm gonna have to talk to this guy, I suppose. It's a weird place to have a paid carousel. One, please. That's a dollar. Best dollar ever. Give her. Have fun. Got to be on our toes like non-stop. Okay, so we did we black out, black out at the park, which means oh we're at this same corner again. What is so special about this? Not again. This is not happening. Tell me this is not happening. He's not going to be here. Let's go home. Run home. Oh, his backpack is still here. Be in here. Oh, man. Please be inside. Oh, shit. Check the teepee. You have got to be kidding me. We may not be fit to be watching children right now.
Oh my god. We cannot handle this. Like, this is gonna be a full-on mental break. Full-on. Good friends. I'm guessing that's something related to do with doing a lot of activities with our son. One point three two six inches. This must be measuring rainfall. I'm not sure how relevant it is. Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. <laughs> I hate chairs like this. When you just are forced to sit there and wait. Now these have to have some entertainment on them, no? Oh yeah, that is cool. Oh, like legit, like games? Oh. What? That's awesome. <laughs> People are like, what the shit? Oh, it's got like a score. It's keeping track of how many times we bounce this ball. 21,110 times. And we gotta get it just so that it's an anagram number. Is that an anagram? Same thing forwards and backwards? That's what I wanted. That's what I want it to mean. I mean, can somebody come and see me? And we got another game? Ah, there we go. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Oh, no. Uh, oh, not Captain. this one. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, 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 it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have we gotta, every day okay. now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. What's the news? Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we yep. met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I do. I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press... They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. What I think is weird is how he leaves I'm here multiple to arrest things. A serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. Is this a case of like we don't know All what to I'm do with our hands? Is that you make progress <laughs> and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. If not bad, means goddamn perfect. Oh, go see Charlie, and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. I am It'll interested. Give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. 
I think I can get to my desk later. I'd rather just go right to the press conference, to be honest. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. Yeah, I agree. I think we're going right in. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. I think it can be dangerous uh, giving Zodiac details like that to the public. Identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. Yeah, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poorer parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's wow, absurd. hunting for drama much? The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. And Ethan lives in those areas. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that <laughs> true? Maybe. You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. According to certain sources, the town hall's been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Interesting. Thank you for your cooperation. So one there's question, an election please, going sir. on? One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. I mean, if they were allowed to, they would ask nonstop. 